What's going on guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and earlier today Apple did release iOS 7.1 Beta 2, which is an update for an update. Anyways, in this version there's actually quite a few new things, and I'm going to be showing you how to install it if you do want it, what's new, is it stable, and you know, just general usability of it. So first off, you know, you can install over the air, or you can do it manually through your computer if you don't have it in the first place, and you can do it if you're not a developer. However, you know, it's not the final version, so that's just a little warning for you, it is a beta, so not everything is going to be perfect. However, I can say without a doubt that 7.1 beta 2 is twice as good as 7.1. It's so snappy, I was impressed. This is on an iPhone 5, and it keeps up with my iPhone 5S when it comes to open up applications and just animations that are loading on it so with everything closed i just want to show you real quick settings even loads faster than on my 5s and it's just generally more pleasing to use i'm not even kidding when i say this everything just opens up faster it's more fluid and i didn't think it'd get any better but it did now without a doubt i can say that battery life did improve i would say that this is a usable beta firmware so if you guys do want to update now is the time beta 2 is a usable firmware for me anyways i didn't experience that much crashing so what's new? Well, first off, if you open up the control center and you slide it up, there's a new bounce animation on iOS 7.1 beta 2, whereas on my 5S, you can see it just slides up. Definitely nothing major. However, it adds a little bit of pep to iOS 7, so I definitely can't complain. Open up your calendar application, and you now have a new option to see all of your events in a list. So it makes it a little bit easier to find them that way, whereas in the old version of iOS 7, this is 7.0.4, there's no such option. Now let's go to accessibility and in here Apple has changed things up a little bit. There is a new option for button shapes and when you do enable that you'll see a little outline on that area right there. So it adds a little bit of functionality just to make it a little bit more visible in case you didn't know how to go back. And sadly the option for a dark keyboard is now gone and I'm not sure whether Apple just permanently removed that or if it will be bringing it back in a future beta hopefully. I mean I really doubt that they would remove such an amazing feature. So if we make our way to restrictions you'll notice that there is a new option for driving display, which will be a new feature, hopefully in a future beta of 7.1. But for now, the ability to restrict it is there. Now that you've seen what's new, if you do wish to install it, it's very simple. You just have to download the firmware, hold shift on your Windows keyboard or option on your Mac, select it from wherever it is, and just install it like that. Do not select restore, make sure to select update. Now where you get this firmware from, that's not my problem. I legally can't share it with you. However, I'm just gonna say you can torrent it from many major websites. And there it is, iOS 7.1 beta 2. We will be seeing the third beta fairly soon within a month. So I'll be sure to update you guys when it does arrive. However, I do hope you enjoy iOS 7.1 beta 2. Have a great day guys, peace.